You sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Well, he's definitely... special. Hope so. He's your brother, right? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! What happened? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. You did right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't just leave him there. Penny, what happened to them? They, they ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn and Cass were gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. How scared he was. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. I need to get to him, Jacob. He's not guilty of anything. I should have protected him better. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Uh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I, I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister too, Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand, right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel, okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. 
What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Lizbeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. So, did you grow up out of here? No. In another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to this start... This place feels so different when it's empty and silent. Me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. Okay, there it is. Looks empty. <sighs> Let's hope so. Luckily for us, we never close our door. A closed door is a closed heart, she says. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. Of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. <sighs> Whoa. Are you okay, Jake? Is this Daniel's room? Yeah. Man. It's depressing. Well, Lisbeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. Huh. <laughs> They're so cute. No matter what happened, I guess Finn was a real friend to Daniel. The Book of Daniel? 
So much for a hot dog, man. This is quite the change from Power Bear and friends. <sighs> Locked, of course. What is this? Daniel Fisher? Oh no. No, that's total bullshit. And creepy. <sighs> Shit. People are really all over his power. <sighs> so much for secrecy. Happy birthday, Daniel. He looks happy. Fuck. I can't believe I missed it. He looks happy. Fuck. Is she forcing him to do this? Why is he accepting all that? Whoa, they kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. Okay, I found a key. Good. Let's try it. Okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. I swear, even her bed looks stern. Nothing here. Yes, that's the one. Oh, perfect. Whoa, is this her personal archive or something? Yeah, she keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look. She has a file on you, too. <laughs> you can take a peek. And see how she really treats her flock. Man. What's all this? Were you, like, sick? Conversion therapy? Did they... <sighs> wanted to cure you from... being... <sighs> Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <sighs> they thought I was a freak. A sinner. Didn't you... tell your parents? <laughs> you kidding? They wanted her to do that. Mom and Dad thought I had a demon inside. So did I. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. Atone? For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean... You met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. 
After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd... I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him. Then let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Keep our money. For your sister. She needs it. Oh, I I can't do that, Sean. That that that's a lot of We're okay. It will cover her medical bills. Wow. Thank you, Sean. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be on to you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Yeah. See what you can do. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Hurry up. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. Man, if he finds us here, we're screwed. Hey, I know you're somewhere in here. And if I find you... Mm. What the fuck is going on? Sean, do you think it's gotta be Karen? Oh, he's gone. Let's get out of here. Oh man, that was crazy. I really thought he was gonna catch us. Look at that. <laughs> Your mom is hardcore, Sean. Yeah. I guess she is. So we're all good now? I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Good luck. Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later. Ah, 
Locked, of course. So you know what you're gonna do? No. Well, let's do it. Oh, Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble sure. servant and will obey your every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean, you came back? And I know. Little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. What? No. I'm not going anywhere. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me. And you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary, right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh. She came here for you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. <laughs> That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you, wander alone in the wilderness. Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. You were blessed with a divine gift and you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel. Honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her, or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Oh! Holy shit. Reverend, are you okay? Nicholas, they're, they're heretics, sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay, 
What now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. You're not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She wouldn't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. She's not a real Christian. Think about Claire and Stephen. They have faith, but they would never endanger a little girl's life like that. But uh, she's always right. Why would she lie? Have faith in me, Daniel. I know what I'm doing. God is speaking to me and to you. She was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah, they knew she was crazy. So she left and founded Haven Point. Why would they do that? Did she do something wrong? Liar! I left on my own because they were all blind. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. I found a letter from Karen, her mother, inside her house. She hid it from you, so you never know she's looking for you. What? You told me she didn't want to see me. See what you have done? Hey, Inano. Back off. No one is gonna keep me away from you. I said stop! <sighs> Don't. I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need. <sighs> Sean! He must learn. Listen, I know I wasn't a great brother, I was an asshole. I took you for granted. I put you in danger. And I'm sorry. Sure. Don't listen to him. He left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. Don't let them do that, Daniel. <sighs> if I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room. In Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! We have to keep going. No! Forward. What are You're you gonna doing? You're gonna kill him! Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith! Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Nothing, nothing is gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. Daniel, Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know uh, Please! Uh, stop! Uh, Leave him uh, alone! Daniel, listen to him! I won't stop, no matter what she does. I'll come right back, again and again! I do too. Shut him up now. Don't move. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it. Shoot. Don't. Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And 
live with me. No! Open the door, Inanna. Daniel, after all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore! Ugh. This is it. We made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. You ready? Yeah. I think. <laughs> 